Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's with their time and bandwidth. Today's game is Lord of the Rings Gollum. Lord of the Rings games are making a comeback it seems, and since we had Aragorn's quest way back in the day, why not a game about Gollum? But is this stealth adventure game precious? Let's find out. Lord of the Rings Gollum is a platforming game with a focus on stealth and some light adventure game elements. It follows the story of Gollum between the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, where he's captured by Mordor and forced to live as a slave while they attempt to extract the information out of him about the Ring of Power. The first half of the game is told in a flash back to Gandalf while Gollum is trapped in an elven prison, and the second half of the game is Gollum escaping that prison to where he ends up at the start of Lord of the Rings. The game clearly wants to put its story first and foremost with a large number of cutscenes, dialogue, and new characters such as the slave leader Candleman. While Gollum is often perceived as a pawn in a larger game, it's clear he has his own motives throughout to escape and find the ring himself, which is the main driving point of the plot. In these story segments, Gollum's split personality often manifests, leading to situations where you have to make a snap decision as either Gollum, deceitful, or Smeagol, truthful, and later decisions require an odd multiple choice question internal dialogue where you try and convince his other half to go your way. I never failed at this, so I have no clue how it actually works. Aside from that, the bulk of this game is platforming with some stealth interwoven. Gollum has taken some training from both Nathan Drake and the Prince of Persia, with large portions of the game being platform traversal through complex areas. You'll also be engaged in some stealth, which mostly involves tossing rocks, knock out lights, or distract orcs while creeping in shadows, since Gollum has basically no combat abilities. The last main mechanic is companions, which Gollum gets a bird and a fellow slave to order around in a few very specific moments. This happens less than a dozen times throughout the game, so I hesitate to even call the mechanic. The bulk of the game does take place in Mordor, so I hope you like the color red, though once Gollum escapes, the elven forests are a nice breath of fresh air, literally. It also attempts to weave a good amount of Lord of the Rings lore into everything without feeling too fan y which I appreciated. And honestly, that's the Gollum game. It's trying to do a bunch of things, but does it succeed at them? Well, let's get to that. So what did I like about Lord of the Rings Gollum? Well, I really thought the voice acting and sound design here were fantastic, particularly Gollum's voice actor. The dialogue was engaging enough to make me actually watch all of the cutscenes all the way through without skipping them. Additionally, I really dig this game's aesthetic. Not the technical side, we'll get to that, but the attention to detail and bright, oversaturated look, I thought it worked quite well and was actually pretty beautiful at times, evoking an otherworldly fantasy aesthetic, and I particularly liked the extremely harsh red lighting, reminiscent of Italian Giallo films. And lastly, I feel like it did a good job employing Lord of the Rings lore to its story while making meaningful but not overreaching additions. Seeing this world through Gollum's perspective is genuinely different from any other piece of Lord of the Rings media, and I felt it mostly worked. When it comes to the bad, oh boy, from a technical standpoint, this game just looks and performs very poorly. Technically, it looks like a 360 game, and that's paired with stuttering, frame rate issues, animation problems, and tons of graphical glitches. Additionally, almost every gameplay aspect is frustrating. Platforming isn't precise, leading to unfair deaths, not to mention not knowing where to go a large part of the time is an issue. Stealth quickly falls back to trial and error, and just generally controlling Gollum is not fun. And lastly, while you aren't doing gameplay, the story's pacing and activities are just boring. While I like the characters, the story around them juddered all over the place, not to mention you spend the first third of this game doing boring slave tasks in Mortar, which is just very dull. As you know, my game's turn on three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. And yeah, I really can't recommend this game, especially at its asking price. Reviewers are dogpiling on this game, but if I'm being 100% honest, I can see what the devs were going for here. And like its troubled protagonist, Gollum, there are hints of good and interesting things underneath all of the muck. If this had been a $20 game and they cleaned up all the technical issues, I might be able to say maybe to hardcore Lord of the Rings or adventure game fans, but at $60 and with its massive host of current problems, you should avoid it like you'd avoid an Asgul. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think of Lord of the Rings Golem? Here's a hot take. I think Red falls worse than this game. I think it's because I like story-driven games more and I felt like this game's story was pretty good, but yeah, still can't recommend either of them. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and then go out there and avoid Golem.